Okay, so I'm in Chiang Mai. I'm actually right by Lana Muay Thai. And uh, I'm walking from where we're staying up to the 7-Eleven behind me to get some more heat patches for my legs tonight because we're going and uh, training with Long Suan to film for my patrons tomorrow. And uh, my leg actually feels better now than it did before my fight when it was hurting from my other fight. <laughs> That's good. But, so I'm right here, right here, outside of Lana. I'm walking, got my headphones in. And uh, my corner from last night, Tae Win, who was uh, my first trainer when I came to uh, Thailand, uh, when we first moved here, he was my first trainer for, I don't know, maybe six to eight months or something like that. And then uh, he went away and Den became my trainer. Den was also there last night. Um, Tae Win pulls over on his motorbike because he sees me and he starts talking to me and he's like, I was talking to Dang. Dang was also my trainer at Lana. After Tay Win, after Den, Dang was my last trainer. I love Dang. He always corners for me when I come up here, but he's in China right now. So Tay Win was talking to Dang in China about my fight last night, which Dang watched uh, online. Uh, so he, he saw it, he was able to see what I was doing and they chatted about it today. <laughs> And then Taewin was telling me what they were talking about. And Taewin was like, I, I was really proud of you. I thought you did really well. You showed your heart. You did so many things that, you know, we've been asking you to do for a long time. I think your teep is good. And Dang complained that I was left-handed. And Taewin was like, no, I think that was good because her leg was already bashed. So switching to that side so it was farther back was good. Like, all these completely reasonable things for your current trainers <laughs> to be talking about about you. And, uh... These guys are not my current trainers, but we're still family and they still corner for me when I come up here and they still think about how to make me better. They still watch me get better. They still take credit for me getting better, which honestly I think is really awesome. I love that they were like talking about me today and that uh, Tay Win like called me into a huddle to have a talk about it. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. That made me feel really good. And uh, this is one of the things that um, is a huge benefit to the fact that I have a lot of trainers. Um, my, uh, my main trainer, Kronu, he had a lot of trainers when he was growing up. Um, not in the same style that I do, because I move around. Uh, and the reason I have so many trainers is because I have all these different connections. He had people coming and helping him at his gym, so it was kind of like they were coming into his space, whereas I kind of cycle out. Um, but he has this, like, I'm grateful for every single trainer I ever had. So he understands from my end how I'm grateful for all the trainers I have. Um, but after my fight in Bangkok, uh, just two days ago, um, when I got up to Chiang Mai, Karahat was sending me these messages online. And he's like, hey, send me a link to your fight. <laughs> and I'm like, he must be sharing this link to people and arguing with someone or, like, trying to make a point with someone who he's talking to about how he thinks I won that fight. And it's awesome. It's the same thing of like Tay Win pulling over and being like, I talked to Dang already. It's like, who's Kara talking to? Is he like arguing with diesel noise? Is he like making a big deal about it? It's kind of awesome. I think he's actually setting up a rematch for me is what Kara was doing. Um, but yeah, that's my, that's my update on my walk back from 7-Eleven and uh, training with Longs the One tomorrow. Very, very happy to have all of these connections.